It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. How much exercise does my dog need per day? We think of exercise only as a solution to a health problem, but it also has important everyday effects on a dog's behavior. Dogs, especially puppies and young dogs, have a lot of energy and if they don't have the opportunity to burn it off, destructive behavior is often the result. If you're bothered by your dog's digging, have headaches from barking, and need to replace shredded pillows, chances are your dog isn't getting enough exercise. These behavioral problems cause many people to abandon their dogs, even though they are completely preventable problems. Unfortunately, some people don't think enough about exercise when selecting a dog breed and choose a dog that needs more than they are willing or have time to provide. 1. So how much exercise does my dog need? The amount of exercise that is enough depends on your dog's age, breed, and health. A 10-month-old Irish Terrier puppy will need more exercise than a 5-year-old Greyhound, for example. A sighthound needs short bursts of activity, while guard dogs generally don't need as much as sporting breeds that like to hunt all day. Even within the same breed, exercise needs vary. A very energetic 8-year-old Golden Retriever could easily need more exercise than a calm 3-year-old Golden Retriever. And older dogs still need to go for walks, just make those walks shorter than the ones they used to enjoy. Generally speaking, a leashed walk around the block will not be enough. Most dogs need between 30 and 60 minutes of physical activity a day. Your dog friend needs enough to slow him down when you stop. 2. Some general guidelines to ensure your dog gets enough exercise. Active breeds need a minimum of 30 minutes of vigorous aerobic exercise most days of the week, preferably daily. Not all small breeds get enough exercise indoors, contrary to popular belief. Pugs, for example, are prone to obesity and need much more activity than they usually get. It is not safe to go out in extremely hot or cold weather. During these periods, stay inside and teach tricks to activate your dog's mind, throw toys, or run together up and down stairs. Good exercise uses physical and mental muscles. Exploring a new hiking trail, for example, engages both your dog's mind and body. He lives by the philosophy that a tired dog is a good dog. 3. Where to exercise. Like people, most dogs enjoy both familiarity and a little variety in their exercise routines. Many dogs get to know the neighborhood during walks and enjoy visiting their favorite places. Dog parks are popular places to run and play off-leash with other dogs, which is exactly what most dogs need. However, not all dogs can play well with others. If your dog doesn't like other dogs, the dog park is definitely not his place. Dog daycare can stimulate both your mind and body. Dogs should come home from daycare exhausted and delightfully happy. 4. The cost of not getting enough exercise. Inactive dogs are often overweight and, as with humans, this carries many health risks. Obesity contributes to a dog's risk of diabetes, respiratory and heart diseases. It exacerbates common orthopedic problems such as hip dysplasia and arthritis. Obesity can stress joints, ligaments, and tendons. Older dogs often have difficulty getting up. Exercise is an essential part of your dog's life, and as a loving pet parent, it is your responsibility to provide opportunities for your pup to move. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you. If you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now. Take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.